In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can split a VCF file into snips and indels. And we are going to use the tool, VCF tools. In order for you to follow this tutorial, you need to have a Linux system or Makua system. Any of these operating systems can be used for this exercise. In addition, you should have VCF tools installed on that PC. I have separate tutorials that show you how to install BCF tools, so you can just watch those videos to set up your PC. The links to those videos are in the description box. Now let's proceed. We will begin by first downloading an example data. Okay, so we are going to use a VCF file which is available on my GitHub repo. And this is the page. I'll leave the link in the description box for you to also visit this repo and then download it. For this exercise, we are going to use this file, all.snipsindels.vcf.gz. This file is what we are going to use. To download it, you first have to click on it. You can also double click. And then you'll be sent to another page. On this page, move to the right side. Just follow my cursor. Move to the right side and you'll see a download button here. So there's a button labeled download. That is what we are going to use. I will show you two approaches to use to download this file. The first approach is used if you want to download using the browser. What you do is to click on it and then you'll be asked to save. So I will save it on my PC. Make sure you save it in a location where you have access to the file. Okay, so there's one way to download the file. The other approach is used if you are working on a remote server where you have access to only the terminal or the command line. For that, you need to have the download link. Okay, so that is what you need. So to get the download link, still bring your cursor over to the button. And then what you do is you just right click it. Okay, so once you right click it, you go to this copy link here and then just click on it okay so i am using a firefox browser so this is how i do it but using the other browsers to be able to get the download link so once you have this download link you move to the terminal and continue from there so on the terminal the first thing i will do is to create a working directory so i will say make the vcfs i will then cd to it the reason why I do this is to separate files that I'll be generating for this exercise from other files on my PC. Okay, so doing this helps you to organize your files and prevent accidental removal of files and modification of files. So that is why I create directories for every project that I do. So now it's time to download the data. So I will use widget for it. So I'll say we get and I'll supply it with the download link of the file, the VCF file. And then I'll run it. Please take note that aside we get there are other tools that can help you to download files from the internet. Okay, so just use an appropriate tool to get your data downloaded. So let's run this command. So now the data has been downloaded. Let's first clear the screen and continue. So let's do an ls to check the file. So we have it here. The next thing we will do is to index the VCF file. Indexing helps programs to do a faster lookup of information in a VCF file. So to index, we say VCF tools, we give the index command and we specify the VCF file here okay i'm in the file name so we have it there so now let's run this so after indexing has been done if you do an ls you'll find that a new file has been created so there's the index file now we are going to do the subsetting we will begin by subsetting variants which are snips so we want to get just the snips so to subset, we use the BCF tools view command and we give the variant type. So that's how we do it. We say BCF tools view. 
dash vim, which is the variant type, and then we give the type. Here we want snips, so we give it this way. Then we specify the main VCF file from which we want the um, information to be extracted. So that's it. With this command, VCF tools will just display the variants on the screen, but most of the time, we want the output to be saved in a different file. So let's add a few options. So let's say dash O, uppercase O, and then Z. So this means that the output file type should be zipped, should be a VCF, and then should also be zipped. That is what this does for us. Let's add another option dash O. This is for output file name or output file. So let's say snips dot vcf dot gz now we can run it so vcf tools will do the subsetting for us so after it has done the subsetting if you do an ls you will find that another file has been created which is this one here so this file here contains just snips that is what we have now let's subset and get just the indels we use the same command here, but this time we change the variant type to indels. So let's see how we do it. We say BCF tools view dash v, and then we say indels. Then we specify the main VCF file. Again, we give our output file format and then output file name. Here we say indels.vcf.gz and then we run it. So BCF tools will do the subsetting for us. So do an LS and you'll find another file has been created. So there's it. So we have the indels and then we have the snips. You can also subset to get other variant types, but I'll cover um, that in a separate tutorial. So there's how we do it. So after getting this, you can even count the number of variants that are snips or indels, but I've covered a separate tutorial on that. You can just watch that. You can click the link up there also and check the description box as well. I'll also leave the link at the end of this tutorial. So this is how we do it. So now we are done. If you have any comments or any suggestions on what can be done to improve this tutorial, you can just put it in the comment section. Let's discuss. So that'll be all for this tutorial. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.